Prayers answered. A mystery man comes to the rescue of a mother and son on a burning boat in Delaware County. Our Natasha Brown is here now with the story. Natasha. Well, thanks to the quick thinking of a stranger, a Ridley Park woman and her son out for a boating excursion yesterday are safe and sound. Now the mom has a heartfelt request for the mystery Good Samaritan who jumped into action to help. We had big plans. We're going to catch the biggest fish. The tides were right. Everything was perfect. What started out as the perfect day for a fishing trip for Sharon and her son Stephen quickly turned into a nightmare. And all of a sudden we just heard a loud explosion. So we both turned around and the engine like exploded. I go into panic mode. Stephen's boat was rapidly becoming engulfed in flames and thick black smoke began billowing into the air. As it, the fire started to continue to come forward, I was like, I got a bail. Mom, you mom, jump. Sharon found herself in the water, holding on to the boat from underneath. Her son was still battling the flames with a fire extinguisher as the powerless boat began coasting backward towards the Ridley Park Marina. Sharon, worried about her son's safety as well as her own, began to scream for help. That's when a good Samaritan jumps in. The guy ends up finding me and he's just real calm. He's like, I got you. I got you. So he leaned over, just wrapped his arms around my arms and literally just pulled me up. Sharon is rushed to shore where witnesses run to provide aid. All the while, her son is still struggling to fight the fire on the boat, not only trying to save his vessel, but others in the process. I begged him to jump with me. I'm like, Steve, you got to jump. Like, who cares about this? And he said, Mom, I didn't care about the boat. I cared about everybody else's stuff because he's got such a kind heart. Stephen's boat was destroyed, but both he and his mom were safe. Sharon has just one request now. She wants to find the mystery man who selflessly risked his life to save her. I would just love to say thank you so much. I know I said thank you a couple times there. I would like to say thank you while I'm not crying, <laughs> but it's really hard to do that. Well, very emotional, as you can imagine. Stephen Kelly's boat, meantime, it was destroyed by the flames. He had just bought it, we understand, last year. Nonetheless, his mom says he's taking this all in stride, happy that there were no injuries and also no other damage to any other boats at the marina. He's now on vacation in Florida. That's the very latest. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you for that.